Welcome to a Code Report Solution video where we are going to introduce a brand new programming language that is super cool and odds are you have never heard of it. It's called WIWA, spelt U-I-U-A, and it is a array language and a stack language. Pretty awesome. I just got finished recording an episode of ArrayCast. It's one of my podcasts where we talk about array languages, APL, J, BQN, KQ, etc. Lots of fun. And on the most recent episode that we just finished recording, it'll be out in a couple days, we interviewed Kai Schmidt, the creator of the WeWa language. And it is such a cool language that I wanted to make a quick video to introduce the language to you. And the way we're gonna do that is by solving the same problem that we solved in the most recent YouTube video that I uploaded. Uh, which solves a problem called duplicate zeros. We solved it in Python and BQN, and we're going to solve it in WeWa in this video. So very quickly, I'll link that video if you haven't seen it before. If you want to go uh, watch that one first, pause this and come back. We're given a list of integers, and we want to duplicate each of the zeros in that list uh, in our resulting list. And we want to truncate the list so that you end up with the same length list as the input. So in the last example, because it's probably the easiest, we have 0, 3, 0, 4, 5. You're going to end up with two zeros, a 3, two more zeros, and then everything else is truncated because we only want a list of five elements. So we are going to solve this in WeWa. And first things first is we're actually going to comment out a couple of the test cases and just deal with one because it e makes it easier to visualize the stack. So the first thing we're going to do, as we did in the previous video, is to compare with zero in order to identify where the zeros are. Usually in an array language, you'd do something like this, but because this is also a stack language, we actually need to put our function prefix. So if we do equal zero, we end up with a list of zeros and ones where the ones correspond to where our zeros are. Note that if we get rid of the equal sign, you can actually see the stack. So what's happening is the zero is being put on the stack. Then we call make a call to a binary operation, which requires the two arguments that are on the stack or two arrays that are on the stack, and you end up with one array. Next thing we want to do is we want to add one, once again, prefix function, we're adding one. We can visualize this again by putting one on the stack, then calling the binary function plus. And this is where things get interesting. Now we need to make a call to our function replicate, which in WeWa is called keep, in order to copy uh, each of our values in our initial list by the number that corresponds it to it in our new list here, one or two. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to duplicate to get a copy of our original list. So we do that by putting duplicate at the front, and now we have our initial list plus our mask, and now we make a call to a function called keep. And in order to get the glyph for keep, we actually don't need to do anything special with a backtick or a key combination. We can just type keep, and when we hit control enter, the code formatter is going to run before we run the code, and it'll convert this into the corresponding Unicode symbol. Pretty cool. We are now very close to being done. Now we just need to truncate based on the length. So once again, we're gonna need a copy of our initial list. So we put the dot here and that gives us another uh, copy of our list. We now need to call flip in order to get our initial list at the top. And we can then call length. Don't even know the symbol for this. Look at that, fantastic. And once we have this, we make a call to take. And there you go, folks. That is our solution in WeWa, brand new programming language. It's an array language. It's a stack language. It's pretty freaking cool. Awesome work to Kai. If you're interested in hearing that episode, like I said, it'll be out in a couple days. Depending on when you're watching this YouTube video, it might already be out. I will update the link and the link to the ArrayCast podcast will be down below if you want to go check out some of the past episodes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something and be sure to subscribe to see future videos, which will almost surely include the WeWa language.